Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. We are here at downtown Winnipeg. We are due, we are waiting for our uh, final consultation for our breast augmentation and lipo. So you guys saw the video that I did. I have a bunch of questions to ask. Um, yeah, but before then, we literally have like half an hour before my appointment. So I need to walk a little bit over there. But um, bag of the day is this Zara Terra Feluca bag. Oh my God, I took the chain off the other bag and added it to this bag. So it's just dripping in like chain central. Like I, I usually hold it, hold it by this chain and just have everything else to drip like this. So I love this bag so much. Anyway, um, yeah, this was so worth the money. Uh, okay, I wanted to do a sales update video. Well, a sales update portion of the video. Okay, where is that list? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, okay. We sold a few things. Not enough things, but we sold a few things. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm not gonna have the money for the uh, lipo, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll we'll manifest it somehow. Okay. So the first thing that we've sold were the two Kate Spade wallets that we thrifted recently. The blue one we uh, it sold for nineteen dollars, and the black one sold for twenty five dollars. I believe we thrifted each for eight dollars a piece. Mm, okay, <laughs> eight dollars a piece. Um, the fossil lot that one sold for sixty six dollars. The fossil uh, wallet, the gray one, and the bag. I believe we paid uh, $11 for the wallet and $15 for the bag. The Coach Tote, uh, the black one, which was really nice. I really like that bag a lot. That sold for $65 and we paid $30, $30 for that. The Coach Crinkle one, um, that one we paid, I believe, almost $28 sold for $30. The hobo flap looking crinkle one. And then the Coach Messenger Fabric one, we paid $20 sold for $40. The Coach small bag, well, I'm not going to pick this up anymore because it was a hard sell. It was only kind of like luck of the draw that someone wanted it. Um, sold for $30 and I paid $20 for it. The Danier Leather Cross Body, the black one, was it that, was that the black one? Yeah, the black one sold for $28. And the Roots Browned Messenger, the Danier Cross Body, we paid... I think like eight dollars, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, around there. And then the Roots Brown Messenger bag, the crossbody run, yeah, the crossbody one, not Messenger. Sorry, I don't know why I said Messenger. That one sold for forty five. We paid seven ninety nine for it. I remember it was from Regent. And then the Danye Blue crossbody bag sold for twenty five dollars. We paid ten dollars for that. And the Christopher Khan bag um, sold for sixty eight dollars. We paid 20 um, and then shipping is going to be 20 so I'm in it for like, well, shipping will be like 22 so I'm in it for like $42, it sold for 68 so I'll make like $26 on that Christopher Con bag. Um, tried to sell it locally, but it, it didn't sell. I knew that was something that's more appreciated by you guys. Um, also, I sold the three long shops for, I think that was like 40 48 $45. Um, I pay my investment on that was two dollars for the black faux long shop, and then shipping is going to be like twenty two dollars. So I'm in it for twenty four, no, yeah, twenty four, and it sold for like forty or forty eight. I can't remember somewhere around there. Um, anyway, I am going to see if we can thrift after this a bit. I have to go home because a couple of people are picking up their bags. So I, I need to be home by one. So I don't know what time my appointment is going to be till. It's not till 940. It's like 920 right now. And then um, 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 there is the Salvation Army and the Valley Village near here. So we'll stop by there before we head home. I also need to pick up some food. I don't know, guys. I've been literally strict, not super strict, but I pretty much I think I'm pretty strict on my intermittent fasting and my keto like especially keto i think although i did screw up a couple days ago i i um ate some wendy's chili and i thought that was keto because it was a meat but it's not i forgot i had beans but i ended up only eating half of it so it only had like 12 or 13 grams of carbs i can have like 40 grams of carbs i try to stick to 20 or less but i could have like 40 or less net grams of carbs um <clears throat> but i haven't lost any weight like what the fuck but to be honest, my underwear is fitting a little bit looser. So I don't know, like maybe I'm gaining muscle, but bitch ain't working out anyway. So I don't know what muscle I'm gaining. 
Um, this jacket was starting to feel a little bit tight and it's feeling a little bit, you know, better now, like fitted now. So I don't know. I'm getting a little bit discouraged. I should not weigh myself for like literally a month and a half. But I've been pretty good on my keto and intermittent fasting. Um, I was one meal a day for the most part. And then there's some days where I don't do when I don't do one meal a day. But that shouldn't affect it at all because I'm still eating keto. And I'm still fasting like literally six days out of the week. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to go to my appointment because I have 20 minutes. Probably like a five minute walk. And I'll check in with you guys when we get to Valley Village. Okay, guys, so slight update. Um, kind of good news, bad news kind of thing. Good news is we don't have to do the lipo, so we don't have to come up with the $2,000. <laughs> but um, the bad news is if I need to get the lipo after, it's going to cost a little bit more. Not that much more, maybe like a couple of hundred dollars more. But I think it makes more sense that way because he said with the weight loss, um, uh, we don't know how the sides are going to look, right? That's number one. Number two, when I get the boobs, the implants in, because they're so big and because they're high projection, like they stick out more, like they're, they protrude more like the boobs, the skin will need to come up here. So we don't know how that's going to um, affect like the aesthetic appearance of my sides because like the sides here spill out. So, and it's actually a lot that spills out and it's, and it's fat, right? It's fat. But he said, if we do the lipo now, um, there'll still be loose skin, right? So he's like, we don't know how it's going to look after the boob job. Like we don't know how it's going to look after we get the breast implants in. So the skin might stretch, it's, the skin will stretch in because it'll need more skin from that side because the boobs are so big. So we agreed, well, I guess from his recommendation is he's like, let's not do the lipo now. Um, we'll do it after, after we see how the boobs look with the implants in, plus with your weight loss when you come in. So I'm paying nothing, <laughs> which is good. But like I said, I'm just so worried. I'm just so worried about how it's going to look. And, you know, I don't want to take, I, I don't want to just, you know, take advantage of it because it's free right now. I want to, you know, if it's, if it's just, um, like, I don't know. I told my plan on being like under 200 pounds by the time February 27 comes along. And he's like, okay, great for you. <laughs> um, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a hustle and a grind, a hustle and a grind guys. It is like intermittent fasting, keto, intermittent fasting, keto, like every day, every day until February 27th. But like I said, I haven't even lost any weight, like since I've started January 2nd. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But anyway, um, let's go to uh, Valley Village and see what up over there. So we just finished going through this whole row of bags and we found nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Hey guys, I'm just walking around Valley Village with a plant. <laughs> just walking around with this big plant. No biggie. I clearly didn't think this plant thing through. <laughs> I can barely fit in my car. I forgot I don't drive an SUV no mo. Here I am. Salvation Army. We didn't find anything at the Valley Village on. Uh, oh, well, we did. We found the plant. <laughs> no bags. I hope they have some bags here. I need bags. I need bags, bags, bags. Here, there's absolutely nothing at the Salvation Army on Portage. So we're here. You're in a city Valley Village. Oh God, I hope you have something because you're the last stop of the day. Unless we go to the Valley Village by my place, but I uh, don't know. I feel like I just want to spend a day of cooking some healthy food because I'm feeling like a fat fuck right now. There's a vintage Derek Alexander bag. Um, it's all genuine leather. It's really nice and really soft. And we have this Danye leather that makes skin print. I don't know, the color is kind of old lady for me, so I would have bought it, but... The handles annoy me when they just stick up like that and the color is a little cray. It's a bag, but it's all like polyurethane, Aldo. I wish it was leather. And then there's this Kate Spade for eight bucks, but I don't know, it's just, I don't even know. 
Do we even want this for eight bucks? Do we? <laughs> I feel like we don't. Okay, this is a hundred nine. Yikes. But it's not too promising. We basically found a plant at the Three Valley Village. No, yeah, two valley villages that we went to, a plant. And a Salvation Army. Ugh. Today's not a good thrifting day. Probably the worst we've ever had. Okay guys, we are looking for bags like we usually are. Let's see what they have. Let's see what they got. over here. What's that? Polo assassin. Faux Chanel. Fugly as hell. There's my Chanel inside. See? Okay. <laughs> they put half the quality of work into it. new booze. Absolutely nothing. Not impressed at all. 
<laughs> I sound like a complaining bitch, don't I? I think this whole vlog I've been just complaining all day. Just a complaining bitch. That's cute. Steve Madden, I think. That's a cute bag. It's a bag that only sells to me, but it's a cute bag. It's all this bullshit over here. Ooh, here's a mat and that. That's cute. 10 1050. It's just a little tote. That's kind of cute. Possibly with the wallet. Together? Well, not together, but like, to buy. <laughs> Possibly. Impossible. I'm not gonna buy bags that are like this style anymore. They're high selling these styles. Okay, what else we got here? This looks unique. You look unique. I think it's leather. I don't know if it's going to look leather. Fake coach. I think we saw that before. Rampage. Nada, nada, nada. Tommy Hilfiger bucket bag root. Nothing more. Nope, nothing else. I think we'll just pick up these two items. There's a cute little mat mat tote with a fossil wallet. Maybe. Hey guys! <laughs> That's my mood today. <laughs> uh, I had my boob job appointment. Um, I, I guess it's kind of good news. We don't have to save up money for the lipo. We could do that later on. Um, Costs a little bit more though, but also makes more sense, right? Right? Makes more sense because you don't know how the boobs are gonna look after these ginormous humongo implants are going in. If the side's gonna stretch in because the boob will need more, you know, skin. Anyway, um <laughs> we found two things, which was the last stop, but they're not even that exciting things. But this uh fossil wallet, small and cute, has a coin person back or coin holder, and it's you know, smaller in size, but lots of compartments. Nothing that excites me, but <laughs> uh, $7.50 and we use a $2 off coupon. So it was like $5.50. It's a cute color though. And then we even bought this mat. This I'm a little excited about because it's cute. Matte and that's super expensive. And it's just a really nice cute little tote and probably someone will like it because it's a tote style and people like tote styles. Matt Nat, fossil. That's all we got today. We drove around everywhere. That's all we got. Oh, on the plant in the back there. Um, hopefully, I'll get 15 for this. Hopefully, I get 30 for this. And the plant, I'm hoping 25. So we turned. Um, what did we spend? We spent 17. We spent 18 dollars plus 10 dollars plus. So we spent 28 dollars, and we're gonna make. So we spent $28 and we're going to make 30, 45, 55, 65, 70 dollars. So we spent 25, we're going to make 75. So my profit is $50 and all this stuff. Whatever. I ain't in the mood. Um Yeah, I'm pretty much a broke bitch today, like literally. Ugh. I went to go to, oh, okay, okay, here's what happened. Um, I have, like my teeth, not my teeth, my eyes, I did a payment plan on, right? So I paid pretty much every month. I put, it was 4,000 something dollars and then we put down $1,000 and then we pay like $280 a month from March of last year for a year, 12 months, right? And then, um, I forgot like I don't know why I've been on my payments like crazy like literally every month and then 
I forgot the 15th came by. They took out 280. I had no money in my bank account. Obviously, I'm a broke bitch. Um, and uh, I got an NSF, like a return check. So not only did my bank charge me $45, but they charged me $50. On top of the 280, I have to pay, obviously, for my eyes. What are you going to do? Repossess my eyes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't pay. I literally only have two more payments left. Like, fuck. So annoyed with that like a ninety dollars ninety dollars ninety five dollars is still ninety five dollars right it's a lot of money for me anyway so it's kind of you're crooked but i don't give a fuck we're on our way home anyway um but yeah that just annoyed the f-bomb out of me so i was looking at the stuff that i sold and like basically all this that i just sold is not is for nothing it's for a fucking nsf check fuck so annoying um what else um yeah so basically i'm a broke bitch um that's gonna i'm gonna title that the video i'm a broke bitch thrifting uh didn't find any coats didn't find any good bags there was nothing at the thrift store it was dead dead like the walking dead um i'm going to basically eat on a budget today because i don't i was gonna buy salmon but they didn't have any like small salmon pieces. They only had big salmon pieces. So it was literally like $20 for that big salmon piece. I ain't got no $20 to spend on salmon. So I remember I bought tuna yesterday. So I'm gonna cook tuna with mayo and chop some celery and onion into it. And then I'm going, I have, I did manage to buy two A&W Mama Burgers um, for $5.60. Bitch can still afford that. Um, and then I'm, I just bought some bacon and eggs. So I'm going to make bacon next and that's all keto friendly. To be honest, I went to the doctors. I fucking weighed myself. I fucking gained weight. So fuck you keto. Fuck you intermittent fasting. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sometimes that happens. Like I know there are instances where you're doing correct keto intermittent fasting, but you're either gaining weight or not losing weight. And um, that's just the way it is. Um, so yeah, that's just how it is. Uh, sometimes it just happens that way. Um, I don't feel fatter. I just, the way, the, the scale, the scale tells me I'm fatter. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's muscle. I don't know. Maybe all the walking I do thrifting and all the walking I do at the mall. I don't know. Maybe that is building muscle in places. Anyway, that's all that we got. It was a boring day. I'm going to go cook my thing. I didn't fast yesterday, but I fasted. I've been fasting every day. I think two days I didn't fast since January 2nd, so... Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I ain't gonna even tell you to be positive, proactive, and progressive because I don't feel like that right now. So, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just keep going. Keep on keeping on. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry it was like such a boring day. Yay, boobs!